that I can't help you with because uh, the safe I've had is I've had it for a number of years, and uh, they cost about two thousand dollars today. And I think you should uh, large gun shows uh, have uh, uh, safes. Large gun stores have safes as well, and usually they'll have one or two or three uh, that you can look at in a catalog as well. And so I think that's the best way. And in all all of the Shooting and gun magazines have safe ads in them as well, in the back, usually. And that's how I got mine. You know, I picked a company out and went and bought it. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. We want to talk, have another question here about the Patriot Act and uh, the provisions uh, making uh, the use of gold and silver illegal. We'll have that question from Mr. Bob Chapman. And when we return in five minutes, this is Dream of Long Range III on Wind Talkers Radio Network and around the world on the Internet with Blog Talk Radio. Five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Thursday with, with Mr. Bob Chapman, TheInternationalForecaster.com. That's TheInternationalForecaster.com. Uh, you can get the links uh, from his website or from my website, the three W's A-M-D dot E-L equity. You can listen to the shows. Every Thursday show for the last four years is available from my website, A-M-D dot E-L equity. Links to Bob Chapman's The International Forecaster as well as to all the shows on Blog Talk Radio for the last year. They're there. They're there for you for free doesn't cost you a dime. You want to know the truth about financial where to fall? You want to back up what Mr. Bob Chapman said a year ago? You go to my website. I'm the only website out there that has a complete archive of over four years of information for free. You just work through the, the link. You send me an email, DrewRains at Yahoo.com. I'm not hard to find. I don't hide. I let you all know around the world. Check me out. I've got the information for you. I document the information. Information is presided and given to us. We document as best we can. And we have had some minor problems here and there, but it's all the, 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 the backstabbing and the attacks on our character is always proven to the best, to ourselves. If we make a mistake, I'm the first one out there to scream, hey, I made a mistake. This, this, was, this was posted on my website. I've taken it down. This, this was presented on this show. And I've gone in and actually gone in to a two radio shows in nineteen in nineteen in two thousand and eight and corrected the uh, the show by putting a disclaimer uh, at the beginning of the show that a statement was going to be made between me and uh, Don uh, Nikolov, not Don Nikolov, with uh, Ron Larson that has been proven an error uh, in on one on one of his shows and on another show with Colorado Al, i.e. Radical Al. Very minor, nothing catastrophic, nothing that put anybody's life in danger, nothing that, that didn't keep the, the real truth from out there that you needed to ascertain. Videos on my website, if there's a video up, link up there that you can't get to, let me know. All the videos that I, play, that I provide on News & Views are archived here in my own server and I can put those on my website if need be for download. Not to watch, but for download. And Mr. Bob Chapman, Mr. Bob Chapman is the man that you need to be talking to about your finances. You got those of you that are returning from Afghanistan and Iraq and you've got some large amounts of money, you need to call Mr. Bob Chapman at 800 375 4188. Leave your name and number. Tell him to leave your message that you, you, you're seeking some financial advice to, to protect your money, and he'll get back to you. You have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Tula, uh, Tularis Cicero said, endless money forms the, the news of the signs of war. I'm sorry. Endless money forms the signs of war. <coughs> and from Robert A. Einlich, or uh, Henlin, secrecy is the beginning of tyranny. We have tyranny in America, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, the banks are not telling you the truth. They're keeping information from the, the Federal Reserve specifically. It's keeping information from our government. And here's a question for Mr. Bob Chapman. Mr. Bob Chapman, uh, the, uh, I had the question here. Uh, the, um, 
the uh, question. Hello, where's it? I've got four or five more questions now. Um, the question uh, came out. It, it was in capital letters. I'll get back, Mr. Chapman. Uh, it came through about. Uh, uh, oh shucks. Uh, uh, real estate, and see, it was about gold, if I remember correctly. Here's another question. I'll go to it, and I'll come back to that other question if Lana will get it back to me. Uh, uh, Chevron just announced it will close its Richmond refinery in California. It's the oldest refinery uh, out there. Will this affect the price of gasoline in the United States, Mr. Chapman? I would think, if anything, it would tend to make it go Chapman, higher. Hear that question? Oh. Yes. Mr. Chapman, did you hear that question? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. And I, I would, I would think that it would tend to make the price of gasoline go higher. Uh, you can't, because of environmental problems, uh, you can't replace refineries in the United States. And if they've shut it down, that's the end of it. So uh, they're going to have to get the gasoline from someplace else, which means the price probably will go up. There was also a refinery up in the northeast in New Jersey. The Seneca Oil Company laid off uh, 3,800 employees and shut down uh, just right after uh, Christmas, the first week of January. So I know that's going to have an effect. Uh, ask Mr. Chapman about shorts on California real estate or utilities like expecting a, to profit on the mudslides uh, or earthquakes. Uh, is there any input that he can provide? No, um, I can't. i got to be honest, uh, I don't know. Okay, and I just found that old question that uh, we took away from the break at the, when we went off to break. Uh, Mr. Chapman, does the Patriot Act have any provisions making the use of gold or silver coins for legal tender a felony? Someone has been saying this on alternative radio and their plan, i.e., the government's plan, is to put us in jail. Do you have any feelings over that? Um, I will guess and say I have. I don't think so, and I've not heard anything to that effect. And I would have, I would have thought with all the research that we do, I would have heard about it. So it could be true, but I don't think so. I haven't heard anything myself uh, about it. I, to me, I think the Ameri the children of the depression era children i e my mother grandmother you know other relatives uh, even when my grandmother passed away uh in her her will she left me uh five five dollar bills uh that were five dollar gold certificates uh the dates on the gold certificates were 1918 1919 i've never seen paper money that had that were that stated it was a gold certificate. Now, I, as a collector's item, it's, it's uh, worth more than five dollars, obviously. But um, uh, I doubt if we'll ever go back to that. Do you uh, do you see uh, the U.S. government with uh, Ron Paul's bill uh, moving forward to do something with the Federal Reserve and putting us back onto at least a silver standard in America or regulating the Federal Reserve in some way? Well, I don't think that the um uh, first of all, they're going to try to bring the bill with the Fed Reserve part of it into cloture. And uh, whether they'll be able to get away with that, I don't know. Um, the aluminous are desperate. Uh, they don't want this thing to get through. And Harry Reid is, is done as a politician. He'll never get reelected. And so he's going to do whatever he, they tell him because they're going to pay him off. And the same thing with Nancy Pelosi. And so uh, there's going to be a big fight over that appropriations bill in which uh, the the bill is ensconced. And uh, what they've done is they've held up uh, the, um, the uh, reappointment of Bernanke until they being Republicans, until, and also one socialist, which is uh, the gentleman from Vermont, whose name escapes me. And um, and so there's a battle royal going on. And uh, people who are listening that can should email or call all senators 
uh, fax them, whatever you can do, and tell them that you want that bill out and voted on and you want it passed. And I would I would go to every senator and tell them that. We've got to get that thing passed. If we don't, we're doomed. This, I, I, I will jump on board with Colorado Al's statement. It, it will be time to bring the boomers out if they do not pass that. Uh, Mr. Uh, I have a, a gentleman from Louisiana comes in and says, Mr. P- uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Nazi Pelosi made a comment. Uh, I heard, I've seen it in the New Orleans Times Picayune where she said she could care less about uh, Scott Brown being elected to the Senate, that the health care bill is going to be passed uh, and it's going to go down within the next 90 days. Mr. Chairman, what do you feel is going to happen in America 